Hello everyone and Merry Craftmas. Yes, we're up to day four now. If you have missed any, then make sure to uh, look back on my channel or I'll drop some links down below so you can see all the other ones that I've made beforehand. Today is kind of a strange one because I really like what we're making. I just can't stand making them. They're horrible to make, absolutely awful. But I'm going to show you how to make them anyway. They're just a pain in the ass. They're messy and just a nightmare, but bear with us. Um, but they do look really nice. They are quite um, a cool little thing to have. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be making string snowballs. And for this, you're going to need a balloon. I would recommend wearing some gloves. You're going to need some string, a container with some water, and some PVA glue as well. <clears throat> and we're just going to blow this balloon up first. You don't want it too big either, you just want quite a small one. Obviously, depending how big you blow the balloon up, is how big your snowball will be. And then we've got the container here, and we're just going to add about half water, half PVA. Oh, no. Oh. Just add that in. You can probably see why this is going to be really messy. I do like the finished result, I just can't stand making them. Absolute nightmare. I'm going to get our gloves on and then... Find the edge of the string. I'm just going to mix this up. Once you've got that mixed up, you'll have something that looks like this, and you're just going to start dunking your string in. What I like to do is I like to just put it all in, and then submerge it into the mixture. This is why I'd wear gloves. I would recommend using more string that I'm using, but I've run out. Um, but I would recommend using quite a bit. And you just want to make sure all of the strings covered. And once it is, oh, this is the horrible part, right? You're going to take your balloon and you're going to add your string to it, and you're just going to slowly start to wrap it round. It is an absolute pain in the ass because the balloon likes to slip around and you get splashed with glue, and it's, it's just a nightmare, but. Once you get the kind of, once it's started, it's fine. It's just getting it started that can be tricky. And you just wanna go round in different kinds of ways. Do it quite random and whatever you want really. Um, but try and keep it as tight as you can. You don't want it too loose. And then just keep going and going. And I think this will make um, quite a good um, kind of light or something like that. You can make like a nice lampshade with it. Obviously, I would use more string, but like I said, I've run out. But you want this way more covered because otherwise I think this will be too weak and it'll look a bit naff. But that's kind of it. And just keep going and going. And then you want to set this aside for about 48 hours for it to fully dry. Luckily, I've done some beforehand, so I'll show you what you do next. And once they dry, you're going to have something that looks like this. Obviously, the balloons have started to shrink a little bit, but they're nice and hard now. And all you want to do is pop the balloon in the middle, which I hate doing. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, and just peel the balloon out. And again, that wasn't too bad. There we go, and then you have something that looks like this. And again, you could probably do um, different coloured ones and stuff like that. I didn't actually try different colours, um, but you probably could, and you'd probably get some nice effects as well. And like I said, these would make really nice like lanterns, or if you put a layer of paper mache over and kind of a hole, they'd make nice lights as well, Christmas lights. 
Um, but again, I don't have the time. I'm doing 25 craft projects, so I don't have the time to do any of that. But you can, you know, feel free. So that's how you get the kind of basics of a string snowball. And I've got some more I've made here as well. So I've got another three, as well as the two I've just made. And what you can do is just like slip them onto the tree branches um, and they look quite nice. So I'll do that now. But there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed making string snowballs with us. It's something you can try at home if you want to. Um, but they are a pain in the ass, but I'll, I like them. I think they look really nice. They are quite fragile, so I can't imagine after a few years of bashing them around and stuff that they'll survive very well. You'd probably just have to make some fresh ones, um, but they would survive for a good few years. If you are enjoying the series of Craftmas, then do make sure to subscribe to the channel. It is helping out a lot, and I really appreciate it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Bye.